Hi there, I'm Kathleen Jasper, and today I'm talking about an AI tool that I just discovered that I think would be very, very helpful for teachers and administrators, any educator, and even business owners or anybody. This tool is amazing. It is not sponsored by anybody. I just found it yesterday, upgraded, and I thought I would share it with you. Let's get started. Okay, so I just discovered Scribe yesterday. I've been kind of playing around a little bit with it, but I really started to dig into it yesterday. It's a great tool to use if you're trying to show people a process and teachers are constantly communicating processes, right? How to log in, how to access this, how to do that. Uh, parents are asking you, students are asking you, and a lot of times you're answering the same question over and over again. The same thing in my business, we get similar questions about accessing a digital study guide or how to log into an online course. These questions come in over and over again. And rather than type out an email every time, there's a tool on Google Chrome. It's a Google Chrome extension, and it records your process of clicking around and exports it into screenshots with little highlights. It is amazing. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay. So we get a lot of questions like right here about how to log in, how to access the course. And so what I'm going to do is record my process of accessing my courses. So up here, I have the plugin. You just go to scribe, just Google scribe. Let's just try that really quick. Scribe for Chrome. And it'll take you to get the, the extension and you can download it and it'll attach it up here to your little toolbar. Let's go back to my website here. So people ask, how do I log in? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to capture my process by clicking this button here, start capture. And then all I do is click exactly how I'm going to, if I'm logging into the course. So let's say they want to know how to log in, how to download the study guide. So I just go ahead and click and maybe I hit start course and then maybe they want to know how to do the study guide. So I click on the study guide and then I scroll down and I click this little download button. And of course that downloads the study guide, which is awesome. And then maybe I want to emphasize the objectives and overview and scroll and show that there's a video there. Maybe I want to highlight the quizzes inside of the course. And so I click start quiz and I, you know, click here and then maybe, you know, I want to show the audio course. There's an audio course in this, uh, SLLA course. So maybe I click the audio course option and I show this here and maybe I just click here. Okay. So all of this works, right? And so I finished my process. So now all I do is I go back up here and I hit stop capture. And when I do, it brings me into all of my screenshots and look how they're zoomed in and they kind of show everything that I'm doing here, which is awesome. What I want to do is kind of redact some information because I logged in as myself here. So this is very easy to do. All I have to do is hit this button here. And when I do, I can redact this email. I can just, or I can even do this. So they know it's an email and hit done. And notice that it's going to do this without the email. It redacted the email because you don't want your students or your customers or anything else seeing your email. Then you can show all of these different things. Now, let's say there's a step in here I don't want to show. All you have to do is click this button here and delete step. And it'll say, are you sure? And you say, yes. In this case, I like all these steps. I want all these steps here. Notice that how to access and complete an online course. I might just change this. They came up with this on their own. How to access and complete the SLLA 6990 online course. Okay. It says navigate to here, log in. I might just change this, log in. Um, click this, you know, start course. They, they came up with all this. I didn't do this. Click SLA study guide. Now this is kind of sitting here. That's it's kind of too close. I don't know what it is. So you can just zoom out. You can also add an arrow. Let's say I want to really show that this is where you download the study guide, right? So maybe I want to do that. And then maybe I want to, you know, put some text in there. So I might do download 
And then what I want to do is pull this out. I can change the color. Maybe I don't want it to be red. Maybe I want it to be orange to match the, the arrow here. Hit done. This just saved me so much time. And now once we're done with all of this, I can do a couple of things to share it. First, I can just copy a link and share it with people. So let's say you're doing an email and you get the same question, or maybe you're trying to show parents how to log into Google Classroom or how to access the, their grades, the students' grades or something like that. You can just grab this link, put it in an email and say, I have recorded my process for how to log in. Click this link if you have any questions. And then it goes through this process. And when they go to that link, it looks like this. It just shows up like this. Now I'm logged in as a as a user, but it's going to look different to them because they're, they're going to be a non-user, right? Um, there's another way that you can do it. If you go to share here, maybe you want to export it as a PDF. You want it as a process document to put in their folders or to attach. You can export it as an, as a PDF. It'll generate that file. And when you do, it's going to look something like this. And there it is in a PDF and you can attach this to a email, whatever you want. You can put it on your website and all of that. Now there's even another way that's amazing. You can go to a smart embed where you can grab this link here or copy the embed snippet. And when you do, it's going to look something like this. It's on my website. Now, this was a question. We get a lot of questions about how to download your digital study guide. So I decided to do a process for that. And so I embedded the link on the website and this shows them exactly how to download their study guide from my website once they've purchased it. And notice it's got here, it has all the little prompts, click order details, click download, yada, yada. And that's all on my tech support page. I'm going to be using this for all kinds of other processes because we get similar questions all of the time. So the tool itself is amazing. There are two ways to get it. You can get the free version, which I recommend doing first, and then you can upgrade. I always upgrade to the paid version, and there's a lot more bells and whistles with the paid version. You can also get the desktop app. So in that example I just showed you, I'm recording on the internet. And so it's only going to record in my Chrome screens. You can have multiple tabs and it'll record multiple tabs, but it will only record on the internet. You can get the desktop app so that you can record in PDF. So let's say you're trying to show your students how to navigate a PDF or an online book, or maybe you're trying to show them where in a Word document or something like that. You can get the desktop app, install it on your computer, and then you can record that process off the internet. So that might be very helpful. There are so many AI tools out there that are coming up that are amazing. This one is really, really handy. You can use it for all sorts of things. I highly recommend playing around with it and seeing if it can help you save some time in your classroom, save some time in your communication. And it just is a fantastic tool. So I thought I would share it with you today. Let me know if you have any questions and if there are any other tools you're using that you find helpful that I might find helpful. And um, I'd be happy to learn more about that really get to know AI. It's going to make your life easier. I know it can be a little bit scary, but just get in there and try it and see if you can, you know, use it in your everyday life and see if you can save some time. All right. Have a great day. Bye.